Moments ago, standing together with her wife, Sherelle, uh, in the Oval Office, I spoke with Brittany Griner. She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home. After months of being unjustly detained in Russia, held under intolerable circumstances, Brittany will soon be back in the arms of her loved ones, and, uh, and she should have been there all along. This is a day we've worked toward for a long time. We never stopped pushing for her release. It took painstaking and intense negotiations, and I want to thank all the hardworking public servants across my administration who worked tirelessly to secure her release. I also want to thank the UAE for helping us facilitate Brittany's return, because that's where she landed. These past few months have been hell for Brittany and for Charlie and, uh, the, and her entire family and all her teammates back home. People all across the country have learned about Brittany's story, advocated for her release, stood with her through, throughout this terrible ordeal. And I know that support meant a lot to her family. I'm glad to be able to say that Brittany's in good spirits. She, uh, she's relieved to finally be heading home. And the fact remains that she's lost months of her life, experienced the needless trauma. And she deserves space, privacy, and time with her loved ones to recover and heal from her time being wrongfully detained. And I'm proud that today we have made one more family whole again. So welcome home, Brittany. And now I'd like to uh, uh, invite Sherelle to say a few words to you all. Of course, she's not excited at all about this. Sherelle, it's all yours, kiddo. Congratulations Thank again. You. Thank you. <sighs> so over the last nine months, you all have been um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. Um, today my family is whole, but as you all are aware, there are so many other families who are not whole. And so BG's not here to say this, but I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, whose family is in our hearts today as we celebrate BG being home. We do understand that there are still people out here who are enduring what I endured the last nine months of missing tremendously their loved ones. So thank you everybody for your support. Um, and today it's just a happy day for me and my family. So um, I'm gonna smile right now. <laughs> um, thank you.